Oh, a tweet from Sheffield Wednesday. Is it a new manager? No, nope, it's another statement. But it's another statement that is very interesting indeed, and we are going to talk about it. Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'd much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm. Sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when video goes live. So this is very interesting indeed. So we were all expecting a big thing to come from uh, Chancery about new manager and stuff. But Chancery put out a statement. So... It's about the Darren Moore thing and why Darren Moore left. Uh, initially, he said he would help Darren Moore silently and offered not to talk. And Darren agreed. Since then, I've had no no choice but to t protect my people unless I have no choice. If speculation was local, then fine. I know people will come. But it's now gone national and media. Now, a week later, the speculation continued. People do not have correct information and say anything completely wrong in the media. I am not worried about myself, but speculation damages our club. And I explain the truth. If Darren wishes to say something publicly, then he will welcome that. Makes me wonder if things have been said in interviews about what happened with Darren and stuff, which is makes me wonder there. So I decided to speak to Darren last Saturday, 25th of June, about the situation. Said I would help him a lot, but understand I need to tell the whole story. So couldn't beat could beat to yourself or we could talk together, but I did not expect that to happen. So I'm releasing this statement today to end speculation. At the end of the season, we achieved promotion. As far as I was concerned, there was no issue. We completed the retain list on Thursday, the 1st of June and began discussing the recruitment of new players, the targets I didn't have a chance at. I asked Darren to summarise and present. We arranged to talk to follow a week in order to prepare for the final information and began coordinating the process. Darren went on holiday. We spoke again during his holiday. We talked more about recruitment players. Then Darren mentioned the contracts of his coaching team, which expired at the end of June. I asked Darren to send me a proposal, then because I was happy to talk. He then mentioned his own contract, which I said I automatically activate, acted and followed our promotion, but I said I was happy to discuss a new contract and asked Darren to send me the details and the proposal so I can study them. After a few days, he sent me a proposal contract. I asked Darren to rethink. He said, are you sure? I asked him for a proposal was exited by his agent, and Darren told me it was guidelined. I asked Darren if he wanted a yes or no, can we talk? And Darren said it was a guideline and he would think about it again. So, again, it sounds like he'd been given something that seems a little bit not great. Uh, so he's asking to rethink it. We arranged to meet Faith Faith in my office on the 14th of June. We talked some about players and Darren asked about contracts as his coaching staff. I said to Darren we, to resolve this, his own situation first because whatever this was an issue, we could not talk about his staff. I said we need to conclude before Thursday if we could not uh, take too long. I needed the, to begin the recruitment process even if we could not agree this is football business but we would uh, still maintain the friendly relations with each other but we need to resolve the situation. Uh, I told Darren I was happy to... Uh, where was I? That's not where I was up to. Uh, yes, it was. I told Darren I was happy for him to say to promotion deserved a chance in the championship. I said I was happy to increase his salary and add a bonus into the contract with the highest bonus if we reach the Premier League. But the proposal Darren presented was slightly in the zest of his contract and said he cannot offer... I said I cannot offer a minimum of four times your current salary on a three-year contract. I have to be elected to protect the club. Fair enough. Can't do it, won't won't do it because he, he knows that he's got to think about it. Uh, and it was four times the his salary, so fair enough. I advised Darren to rethink very carefully. Uh, do you think this is a good idea? I offered my full support during his time at the club and want us to continue as a success here. I asked him to think and let me know about his decision first because we're getting, we weren't getting anywhere. Darren said he would go and think about it. We met again on the 15th of June. Darren told me that he could not accept. I said, okay, this is your say. I don't think it will be the difficult for you to get another job. I said I would help Darren by announcing his departure via mutual consent because that will help for the future. I'm fully aware that fans believe this is my issue, but Darren there would only be good things to achieve, but I was happy to take it out of my shoulder to help. I said I was not taught too, taught too much, only if I was left with no choice. Uh, I told Darren we announced his departure on, third, on the Thursday, the same day we would allow me to begin recruitment, a uh, new manager yeah, for Monday the 19th, but I was not keen on that date because the players would be coming back to pre-season. I agreed to his request and announced it Monday. In the meantime, we still have good, had, had 
interesting wording. Had a good relations and had dinner together on the 17th. And personally, in my heart, I hope he would have had changed his heart, but unfortunately, nothing changed. We spoke about players as if everything was normal. Darren asked me if he would, if I would keep his coaching coaching team at club, but I said that would be difficult because Darren took another role. He would need his team around him, and obviously, then we would have a problem at our club. I said there was a chance I would retain Basso and I would speak to the team, but then, but when, but when I recruit new manager, he wished to bring his own normal normal thing. New teams help in transition. We continue to talk about general matters over dinner, about the team, the players, the championship, and the players remain the same. We agree parting of wave will be the best way forward, which we announced on the 19th. So that is the story over why Darren left the club. I wish him nothing but the best, and I hope he is appointed in a new position too. Now these details have been made clear, I hope we can move on and look forward to the next year of Sheffield Wednesday. The recruitment process for the manager is well underway, and I wish to get back to normal as soon as possible. The appointment will not be rushed. It must be the right person, right fit for our club, and the process continues. So, a lot of stuff going into that there. So, basically, Chancery has said um, everything about it. He wanted more money. He said he's coaching staff. Sorry about that. Um, his coaching staff, he asked about his coaching staff contract and he said, we need to get your contract sorted before we sort out the coaching staff. And he basically said, Darren, Darren wanted more money. chancery has gone, I can't afford that. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm not willing to put that in front of you. And then he's gone, right, if, that's not, if this isn't going to work out, we will move on to uh, the next person. Um... What we what we do next, we'll go by mutual consent. And he said it would be easier to do that way. Then he would not be um, having to... Um, it made it look better. It made it look better for him. Uh, going if it was mutual consent, like it's not a sacking or anything like that. And that's where, it, where they left it. But it seems like the coaching staff wanted to get a better deal because their deals were going to be up at the end of June. And their deals were getting sorted and it just sounds like it was a case of Darren wanted more money than Chancery willing to put and not risk the financial stability of the club to a point by the looks of it and sounds like he wanted to get this sorted so they could start out and try and hope that Darren uh, rethinked if that was his proposal and the guidelines like he said the guidelines it's a bit of a mess but I understand why Chancery come out and said it because his name had been thrown through the mud it was a mutual decision in the end by the sound of that and i know people go go oh you're just believing on what chan is saying chan come out and put a statement to try and put it to bed kind of thing if darren moore comes out like if, if we want to hear another side of it we need to hear darren moore's side but i don't think we will or we will or we might now um i don't know it's interesting it the statement reads just reads of you want of more money then I was willing to pend, then for getting us up. I understand that, but it's more than I was willing to have. The coaching staff need a new contract. Uh, I understand Darren trying to get the coaching contract sorted, but at the end of the day, coaching contracts uh, would only work because if Darren went and got a new job, he would want his coaching staff, like he said. So I think it's what it is. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. It is very, very interesting uh, that Chancery's done this. I'm actually quite surprised Chancery come out and said this. But I understand why he said it. I get it. I understand it. He wants to clear the name. He wants... I wonder if this had been a talking point during the interview processes. Of, why did Darren leave? What's Dar what Darren doing? Why Darren leave? And he put it out there so it makes it a bit easier now interviewing potential people. I'm wondering if that's the case that's come up. I'm definitely wondering if during interview process, people have said stuff and then he gone, well, that's not actually happened. So he's actually now put it out there to say what happened, to sort it out, to figure out what it is. So it makes the interview process a lot easier. Um, as he said, the process is still going for manager. So just bear that in mind. That is nowhere near done yet. Um, so it's interesting. So he was, and it, like I said, he was gone before, he was gone before the 19th. He actually resigned on the 15th and they tried to, he was hoping he was going to change his mind. Um, uh, via the dinner and it didn't work so 15th of june is when he actually went 19th was when it all got announced because he wanted it to happen on the 15th and then i don't i kind of don't understand why darren moore delayed it till the 19th why why do that but again 
this is Chan Theory doing what he did with Dee Brew, being nice, letting him have it on the terms he wants kind of thing, going from that. And I get it. But let me know what you think. DC's statement on Darren Moore's uh, departure. It was mutual consent and Darren wanted more money than Chancellor was willing to put up there for the safety of the club.